One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666, and you are watching me play Ziggurat. We are back here to do another round of that stuff that we do. And we've got, I think, one more character to try out. Two more games to run before we unlock whoever this is. So, let us. What did we still need to do? We needed to do. Algorab the Alchemist. Yes. Alright, Algorab. He's the guy that's good at alchemy stuff. A few carrots were harmed in the making of this game. But only a few. Oh, you start with... Oh, boy. Let's see. Alchemy Affinity. Increase Alchemy Damage. Decrease Spell and Stave Damage. Alchemy Fire Rate up. Firing High Rate of Fire. And the Porcupine Bomb. Excellent. Oh. Oh, that spits out. Tee hee. What do we get? Wraith rings. That'll be nice. Wraith rings are nice, despite the fact that I will be doing a bit less damage with them. Tiny and big enemies. Look at the teeny little cats. This runs out way too fast. Whoop. Did I leave any drops over here? I probably did, and they've probably all disappeared by now. Ow. Tee hee. Alright. I realize I said I start with the porcupine bomb, but it's probably a random alchemy. Alchemy weapon. But you know what? I got the porcupine bomb this time, so you know I ain't gonna complain. I will never complain about the porcupine bomb. Nope. No hidden room in here. Oh, that's what we have left. The carrot. Let's see, who do we have left? I killed the Banshees! Well, you only got 30 rounds on your default wand. Oh boy, no wonder it feels like it's running out of ammo so fast. It has no ammo! Alchemy regenerates? Yes, please! Ammo regen is always nice to have. You can have. 
No porcupine bombs because I used them all up. Alright, hidden room, secret room, are you here? Probably not. Yes, there you are. Ball. Okay, I'll take it. Well, here's the boss key. Am I done with the floor already? No, not quite. I see the trap icon on the map, but I don't see a trap in the room. Scars of War. Hmm. Uh, more ammo from gems sounds good. This is going to be a room full of lost souls, it looks like. Whoop. Ho, 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 buddies. You missed me. I friggin' love the porcupine bombs. Oh no, I missed experience. Double kill. Now I think I'm done for the floor. Yep. Boss time! Don't have to go through the trap room. Just go this way, damn it. Alright, whose room is this? This looks like Gunkar's room. Nope, it's Sir Arthur. It's not the King Blob, I know that much. Probably the easiest to deal with. All right. How many points do we have? We have a whole 121,000. Holmar finished deaths 181. What? Oh, we have staff. It's the railgun staff. Not bad. But also not the porcupine bomb. But still good for multi kills, it just requires a lot more precision.
Why, oh, yes, I will shrapnel myself. Thank you very much. How good of you to notice. What do we get? Mmm. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Better ammo efficiency. For my alchemy weapons. You say overkill for one little in? I say probably, but you know what? There's only one way to be sure. No kill like overkill. Let's see. Is this the room with the secret hole in the wall? it is. Got lucky there, that's for sure. Increase alchemy ammo. Cool! I got some. Some of the shrapnel went and hit the guys. Scavenge, but scavenge with orcs and golems. That's gonna be annoying. Uh, more experience. Sure, we'll do that. It's time to murder the minions for minion murder. <laughs> I lucked out and only had to kill two whole orcs. Not gonna complain. Sure, have some staff mana. Increase perk availability on level up. Cool. 30 health? Yeah, I'll give you 30 health. Alchemy usage goes up, but so does the availability. Go the other way first. I don't feel like dancing through there yet. That's the boss room. Well, we're fighting Queen Amanda today.
Gentlemen, please. This other one, there it is. There's four of these fucking things in here. Okay, I see how we're doing it. Recovery, sure, do that. I do like mana recovery at the start of each fight. Well, it's not Wraith Rings. Oh, my full health. Okay, is this room just dead end? Yes, it is. Ow. Didn't quite jump it soon enough. Hello, boss key. I missed. That would have been embarrassing if I had done that and then just kept going and gone all the way to the boss without actually taking the boss key. All right, what's this way? Barrel full of poop. Oh, I waited too long to get the potion. Damn it! Oh boy. Uh, I need all this experience, please. Thank you! Okay, now I think we're done with the floor. Now it's boss time. Yep, boss time! some dots <laughs> finish her off with the rail gun Efficiency on alchemy, yes, please. And away we go. Oh, 
All right. On to the next floor. What do we get here? Oh, it's the uh, spread fire stuff. Yeah, we'll play with this one. This one's not a bad one to have. White area and stun. Ground enemies do a shockwave on death. Well, that's just all sorts of death. Except for the part where it doesn't go through the walls and actually hurt me. Uh, except for there. That one hurt me. You are one durable son of a bitch, buddy. Holy crap. Ow. Alright, that was mildly annoying. It will just get damage ticking on everybody. Now, unfortunately, I gotta run through and grab all this experience that's been dropping before it all disappears on me. Because that's bad when that happens. one. There's one. As it say, wait, I thought there was one more bit. There was. And I almost missed it. Alright, secret room. Don't think you're here. Does not appear so. Well, this is an easy free perk. He says as he is completely gone the wrong down the wrong side of the room. He tried to preempt that, but no, he did it wrong. That's a stone. Yeah, it's not a stairwell. Alright! More ammo efficiency for alchemy weapons. Could use an amulet. Which one is this one? Stuns all enemies, except bosses. Cool, that'll be useful. That will be a useful thing to have. Oh, this is that, uh, what, Prime Golem Adam, I think? I only fought him once, so I don't recognize the room as much, but... Pretty sure that's who that room belongs to. Scavenging. Well, at least this is a nice big open room to run around in. Oh, 
Oh yeah, everybody's just dying. Teehee, it's wonderful. Watch out for secret room still. Nope. Not along that wall. Ouch. Guess who wasn't paying attention to the noises that the floor was making when he picked up the key? Spoiler alert! It was me. I mean, lots of fireball spitters. Killed an undead guy with the undead scepter. Blacked myself in the face! What's it say? Is there an invisible guy? Yes, there is. But he's dead now, so it's okay. Uh, ooh, equalizer. Uh, ooh. Oh no, that's spell mana. Um. Yes, please. I will take multi purpose ammo pickups! Especially since I have. A very large alchemy pool to keep filled. Double kill. Alright. Is there a hidden room in this room? Uh, I'm going to say probably not. Don't see no telltale wall cracks anywhere. Does not look like it. Yeah, this would be a good run to have the uh, perk where I get a level up on Lore Scroll pickup. Because they've had two of those so far. But! Yeah, this is probably. God damn it, more scavenging? Not just scavenging, but scavenging with the stupid plants. of exploding carrots. Okay, that was less than pleasant. No 
know why I went back down there. Banshees everywhere! Excuse me, ladies, I'm just gonna run through and pick up all this crap before you all bleed to death. Level 10. Uh, yeah, more experience boost is good. Secret room? Are you hiding in here? I don't think so. Oh, where are we going now? Back to the fireball room. You know, I didn't check the boss room when I wandered in earlier. I totally also completely just uh, ran through the fireball room there. it for the floor. I haven't found the hidden room yet. It might be through the boss. Which is mildly annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna run into the fireball. I check off the key room very well. I think I did. Yeah, because there were spikes in here. And I wandered around about three times and said, nope, it's not here. Well, I need some health. And fortunately, I left a few of these sitting around. You know what I didn't check? The trap room I went into. Did not check that room for it at all. Let's check, ladies and gentlemen. Not here. Didn't think it would be. But I had to check just to be sure. Real quick, gonna check the starting room. See if it's behind where I was. I don't think I ever actually looked backwards. Ha! There it is, son of a bitch. You cheeky little shit. Okay. Staff mana pool up.
All right, now we are ready for a boss fight. It's my max health, 145. All right, I'm at full health. Yup, it's that golem boy, Adam. <laughs> oh, all oh, the big boys. Oh boy. Many little exploding golems following me. There are way too many people here. There we go. Oh boy. That could have gotten a bit spicy. On the other hand, lots of dudes died there to pick up ammo from. I won't complain too much. Alright. On to the next floor. The stupid cathedral with the stupid demons. Okay. It's not in the wall behind me. Ooh, the hellish ember. Hmm. Take the wraith rings for now. Gen? Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Pretty sure I was running, like, right along with a thing of fire there. Scavenge. Oh, and you're full of shield skeletons. Great. This is gonna be fun. Ow. I'm not even gonna bother with them until I've scavenged everything. Gen at the start of the fight. Oh, you know what? I could just stun all their asses. Alright, now you guys should start falling over dead.
Okay, that was less annoying than I initially feared. With all of them just following me around like I'm the Pied Piper of Skeletons or something. I need to get away from everything being on fire. He says as he continues to walk through the fire. Let's get up. That way the big floating suits of armor will have, hopefully have, a slightly less successful time shooting at me. says before remembering that they can float and therefore don't give a shit about such things as who has the high ground. There are a lot of you assholes here. Uh, I'm gonna go back this way. Collector Nicholas Surge. This is due. What does this do? Use the power of magic science to roast your enemies. Lightning, probably. Yeah, sure, we'll play with it. I'm not super attached to the spread fire. I mean, I don't hate it, but it is not indispensable. This is going to be another chain lightning, or at least something lightning. I mean, it's called Nicola. It's got the word Nicola in, it, in its name. That immediately draws kind of draws parallels to Tesla, so it's probably a Tesla coil. Maybe it's a Tesla coil. I get rid of the stupid obelisks first. I don't worry about the plates. Except for that one. That one showed up. Drop rates? Yeah.
Okay. Yep, Tesla coil. Except it's a staff. Oh, I'm at full health. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Boss room. I don't recognize this boss room. Is this the one boss I haven't fought yet? Maybe. Scour the room for the secret door, though. Real quick, while I'm here. be on that wall because that butts up against the other rooms. Alright! Well, looks like I get a new boss fight at the end of this floor, ladies and gentlemen. Works hurt. I'm gonna blow out all the candles. Get some health back, yeah. Okay. We got to uh, clear some airspace here. Um, show one more perk. That's useless. I guess we'll up our uh, alchemy fire rate. Good lord! There are way too many people in the air here. Alright, there's still another obelisk hiding in the room somewhere. Where is it? There it is. bomb into the mass of dudes. It'll shrapnel everybody. That is not my wraith rings. Excuse me, buddy. Alright. That was mildly uh, annoying. Nope, it's just a hole. Not a room full of books to knock over. Huh. 
Eh, scratch my nose. Oh, I still got places to go. It's like, am I running out of floor to search and I still haven't found this thing yet? What the hell? But no, I still have other places to explore. box room. Okay, let's see. Alright, what's gonna happen here? Why, it's a room full of dead people. You know, it's pretty great that you guys can't, like, get me up here. like that with those guys, please. Oh yeah, I still need the boss key. Can't fight the boss without that. Lore scrolls I'm going to find on this run, what with this being the second to last floor. That would have been nice to have as an option at the beginning. But then I still don't know if I would have picked it because, you know, you never know if you're going to find lore scrolls or not. So it could be potentially a wasted perk. All right.
another necromancer. Okay. Let's see. Do we have another necromancer to deal with? Not anymore. I lied. There's another one. And now he is the dead. Our hidden room. What do we get? Scholar four. Awesome. They have a turn ninja two. I didn't want to read that. I probably already read that. It was their first sequel. They figured they found they could focus more on improving the game when they didn't have to make it from scratch. Or whatever that said, because I didn't read it fast enough, because I think I might have already read it, so I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Not too bad. Not too bad. Look, a lore scroll. That's been what? Three of those I've had in this run so far? Oh well. Okay, so I think we're gonna take the hellish ember. Especially since I'm not sure what kind of boss I'm about to go up against. And having an extra oomph blast to fuck you will help. Even though it's slightly weakened because that's how my skills go. But you know what? Between this and the porcupine bombs, I think I should be pretty good. All right, let's see who the hell this is. Brunilda, Carrot Princess. It is a giant carrot. All right. This is our hell we must deal with. Take a ooh, I almost died just in case. Safety. Especially since we're going into the final floor. Alright. Last floor.
Ugh, magma, magma rifle, no thanks. Oh, there's a lot of carrots there. Let's go around. Jesus fucking Christ. You assholes with your armies of carrots. the experience can't miss the experience we need it we never got that stun oh hi carrot Consuming weapons, I'm not showing one more perk. Uh, there we go. Berserker it is. Didn't leave me much of a choice on that one. Alright. was a painful room. May not make it too much farther, ladies and gentlemen. I have to uh, play careful here. Fortunately, that room was a bunch of slow-moving, large targets that all were just bunched up so I could throw bombs at them. Oh, we got staff mana. Yeah, give up some staff mana. Reduce alchemy mana usage. Cool. I am not giving up health. I need that very much right now. Maybe if I, like, top off, I'll come back later. I wouldn't keep my hopes up, though. Fuck! Magic missile. Eh. Well, there. Ah, uh, nope. I didn't check, but I don't think I would have needed to. Alright, let's do us a 
fight. Two health. Oh. There we go. I died. So it saves you from mortal hit. It makes you invincible. When you almost die. Not like... Refills your health when you die. Which is... Eh. Spend half your health to increase your maximum health by the same amount. Interesting. Greater attack rate. In exchange for lower mana pool. Safe path. Danger rooms and combat modifiers will not appear as often. Anguish cannon. Capable hands. This artifact can inflict serious damage to enemy lines. Is that a BFG? Just magic? It sounds like a BFG. Frozen amulet freezes all enemies. Except bosses. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for this part. Because, well, it's that time I died. Just got to come in next time and do one more game and unlock whoever that is. But, for now, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback. Am I how I'm doing? Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do good? If I'm doing bad, I'm doing good. Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because, yeah, um, I don't know. I got myself killed again, but that's what happens in these games. But, you know, I, even, I had porcupine bombs, so it was all great, but I don't know. I don't know. Come up with your own reason today. I don't feel like thinking of a good reason as to why I'm a terrible person. You get to pick this one. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction, so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter at NanoElite666, as I will be using that to make updates and announcements and such regarding the channel and such in the future whenever the need should arise. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I am NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time.